Hello everybody and welcome back to the modlock. We're jumping in again this time as Andromeda. We're going to check out what mics we have remaining as this guy and see what we can do. Andromeda marks. Okay, so we got the Beast, Greed Mode, gr um, Mega Satan. Okay, so we either want to go for Mega Satan or the Beast on this run. I'm a little annoyed I haven't got Mega Satan done already as this guy, I'll be honest, because it would have been... Really good to get that out of the way with with Blue Baby or um, the Lamb. It's a little annoying that I'm going to have to do a whole extra run to go grab that. But we'll see what we can do. Um, Envy, kind of annoying. Although I would love Shoop the Whoop. Uh, but yeah, probably Beast is the best one to go for for us today. I, I'm still not sure when I'm going to bother with Greed Mode. I... Just at this point that I'm at right now, I've already gone past the two weeks mark in terms of how many videos I've recorded. Because it's only about six days into the Nuzlocke so far. But it's meant to finish after two weeks. But I have episodes that go way past two weeks. At the minute, I'm on like 15 episodes. So I don't know exactly where I'm going to go. I, there's, there's, I've thought I have two basic options. I'm either going to record as much as I can and then do like a super cut after the two weeks is up of like what episodes I had left, like edit them down. Or I'm just going to basically call it quits where I am and tally up the points that I got in the time. Because technically I'll be playing past the point of which I was supposed to be playing at that point. So I'm not sure if I should keep on. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't really want to cut it short, but at the same time, I don't want to be uploading this for like two months on my channel, you know what I mean? Um, especially with Fiendfolio coming up. Or I might just like do double uploads or something. I will definitely take a tech point five here. Uh, does that get, um, wrapped around me? Oh, whoa! I forgot I'd have anti-grav. Okay. Very, very happy with that. That's really cool looking as well. I don't know why I didn't expect that at all. Right, that, that was not what I was envisioning would be happening for us. For the question of the day today, what is um, something space themed that really interests you? What's something that you've looked into that's, um, that's really interesting? I remember watching um, a Kurt Kazar video uh, a while back actually now that was on the idea of, I can't remember the exact name of them now, maybe it's called like a Skyhook or something, which is essentially like an elevator from the ground to space and that is like apparently something that in our, like, in our lifetime might be a plausibility and I, I found that fascinating that's that's like such an interesting idea and i think i think that just in general the the whole idea of space travel and anything space themed is always by far one of the most interesting topics at least for me it's so fun to learn about and and it's it's a shame that we live in such a time where it's unlikely we'll get to see much of that progress but we will get to see enough of it to enjoy it um but we might not get to experience some of the more uh more out there and wild ideas that are part of that, such as, I'm not going to take that, um, some of the more wild and out there ideas, such as, like, the idea of, like, harnessing the powers of the sun and stuff like that, that's obviously something that we don't know will ever happen, but, um, based on the limited resources we have on Earth and the limited resources we have even in our solar system, it is likely that, um, harvesting the, the power of the sun and, things like and stars is going to be something that eventually becomes a reality or eventually has to become a reality i don't know if we'll actually get there but i found that really interesting so here we got jupiter i'm gonna gravity shift jupiter i just don't really like it um pinking she is is really good but rune bag i think is going to be better for us so we'll take rune bag um i just think like there's there's quite a few runes out there that could like seriously help us also we where that where the hell did little hushy come from? I think we got a Lemmageddon Wisp from that room for some reason. I'll take it, I guess. But not a bad start. But yeah, there's I like there's just so many things that it's like where like I, I, it'll probably I, it, it seems like in my lifetime it will happen that we um that we see people living on another planet. I think. Oh, that was a bad hit. Uh, it seems like that's gonna happen in my lifetime, but I don't think it's ever gonna. I don't think like in my lifetime a planet's gonna be colonized. And that's kind of, it's kind of a shame to miss out on that sort of stuff. It's its really interesting and it's like, uh, born, born too early to explore the Earth and born too young to explore space. Born just, <laughs> born just in time to look at shitty memes on um, YouTube <laughs> and Twitch and stuff. Oh, I find that funny. Um, ooh, well, oh, I could have, I could have definitely pushed that for a secret room discovery there. I think we've got a pretty good build going on here though. 
I think Rune Bag has the potential to be really, really good. Tech point five is clearly bolstering our power quite a lot. I don't know why I keep saying bolstering real recently. I noticed I was saying it a lot in the last episode as well. But see, that's that's pretty awesome. Ghost Baby, of course, isn't the best, but it's free. And then we'll, no, we'll um not not what I intended to do at all. Did I have a hermit card? <laughs> Apparently I did. Um I meant to gravity shift this. Ooh, that's not amazing, but Ooh, Endless Nameless is is actually a pretty, pretty interesting idea. Um, we should see if we can find a penny anywhere to get a soul heart here. It'd be very nice. Um, Endless Nameless is a really good thing to have with um, with the addition of Rune Bag, because we're going to get the chance to use some runes more than once. It basically, it's a 50% chance to get your runes back, or well, your cards, pills, whatever, back on using them. There's the penny. We don't need to do boss rush or anything like that with this character, so we can take our time very freely. So I will do that. Goddamn, tech point five is like popping off. Of course, it's a little bit hard to line it up and hit with a boss that moves so much. Did not like that. But it's going not too bad. Okay, good. You're taken care of. We get that. We definitely want to go angel deal with this fella. I quickly want to skip hop, dibbly up back, back. I think this is definitely our secret room. Oh, that is devastating. Having a single bomb and, not, and, and missing out on that. But it's a little annoying that I didn't use Soul of Lilith after getting Endless Nameless, because that would have been potentially pretty awesome. But at the same time, I mean, how was I to have the foresight that that was going to be the case? I shouldn't worry about that, really. Um, Right, down to our next floor. Like I said, Beast is really, at the minute, the... um. The thing at the top of my mind, the thing that we should probably go for. We have decent health right now. Consumable gain is not good. I, I would very much like to get some more consumables going if we can. I'm a little worried about this room. I mean, we do a ton of damage, so if like we get our tech point fires lined up, so I'm not worrying about that too much. Although, if I could have a damage up, that would be very nice. But we've at least got like a, a kind of mock damage up going right now. I don't really know the best way to handle this fella, I'll be honest. The virus wouldn't be too bad. I know we don't already have a syringe, so the virus isn't super useful. But I would have accepted it if it had given us it, but we don't have to discuss that anymore. But yeah, it'd be super interesting to hear from you guys what's something space-themed that, that, that really you look into quite a lot of cap really captured your interest. Because like I said, there's just some insane stuff, insane discoveries. And obviously there's the, um, is it James Webb telescope that's been... Uh, taking some insane pictures recently, showing off some really cool stuff and like some of the comparisons that have been done with that thing compared to like the Hubble. It's just the detail, it's 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 outstanding what we've achieved. It's it's kind of nuts that like humans go through a lot of this effort and a lot of this these extra things that we don't realistically have to do, but we just do in the name of finding out more about ourselves and finding out more about where we live. But like a lot of it, ooh, that was that was almost terrible. A lot of it isn't really like required. <laughs> That's good. We get a pear thrower. We also got a golden bomb here, which I'm not quite sure where that came from, but golden bombs are very very nice. Okay, that poisoned both of you. Nice. Just make sure to use the golden bombs if we need. I definitely gotten better at dodging with this guy. Just remember that the um. Web heart, that's kind of annoying. Just remember that the um, shots can knock away our bombs and stuff. That's always really frustrating. Hey, you. Um, do we want to mess around with you right now? Probably not. No soul heart, unfortunately. I'll maybe come back and discuss finances with you. Right now, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm chill. I'm okay. Thank you. Secret room wise, we're not entirely sure right now. Yeah, just getting like lined up with the the, the tech point five shots. Tech, is it tech point five? Yeah, I think it's tech point five. Forgetting the name of things now. Use bombs here if we need, but just remember it's going to be a little tricky. I just want to line up as many tech zero shots like that as possible and just let them all rip. Really satisfying, actually. We've got another item room here. Juicy Sack, I think, is another gravity shift for us. Aquarius is much better. 
Aquarius, while on its own, really not that good. It has the potential to synergize. I mean, no, it's actually pretty good on its own, but it has the potential to synergize into some really insane stuff. I mean, it's, it's pretty decent on its own. It just stops enemies following us from being able to follow us because it's going to take a lot of damage. It does our tier damage as well, so the more our damage goes up, the better it's going to be. So I'm hoping our damage goes up soon. I'll check this out. Ooh, both of these are pretty good. Um, we do have the ability to bomb our donation machine here, so let's do that. It didn't quite give us enough. Now, the question is, I was going to say blank card might be kind of good, but I think stopwatch is probably the better identity for us for this run. Just seeing where we've got some extra pennies. I, I know I left a penny in our broken planetarium there, which was dumb of me. Um, there is some golden chests over that way. I reckon we uh, we fish. We fish for something in these. That's not what we wanted. But that is pretty good for us, though. I should have maybe pair throwed the, uh, the juicy sack instead, but it's fine now. Probably want to save our pair throw for an angel deal or something anyways. Hate the way it pulls enemies towards you sometimes. So scary. We are going to lose out on our keys here, which is, again, a little bit scary. Good. Golden pill could be pretty interesting. Let's pop this. Yes, we got the money we needed. And a little extra. Um, let's quickly go over this way and pop this in here. Two tinted rocks right next to each other there. So there's another chest. Oh my god, we might be able to get both blank card and thingy, actually. Another tinted rock here. God, this was a great room to use this in. We've got small rock there, which is the damage and fire rate we've kind of been asking for. And we got stopwatch coming up, so we're going to get that speed that we just lost back. This is a slightly annoying room for a golden penny, I will admit. I'll try and make some shortcuts here. As well as clearing out the mushrooms. Okay, that's that's cleared already. That's done. That was a pretty good grab for us. And um, we can go back and grab our pair throw. Do we want to use the golden pill much? Range down. Oh, we've got two. Two of these now. Gulp. Gulp is good. Off is not so good. Speed is good. Balls of steel. We got another one. What's going on here? Oh, is Endless Nameless doing this? Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. Speed retro vision. I did not know Endless Nameless did this. Damn, what the hell? Okay, Telepills is in there. That scares me. Let's let's just go and do what we need to do on this floor first. And then we'll come back to the Golden Pills. So we'll grab that. We'll grab that. Yeah, let's let's go quickly. Because I just, I don't want to Telepills into an error room and ruin everything. But we've got like four Golden Pills in this room, which is, is uh, we got, we got five Golden Pills in this room, which Endless Nameless, I was not aware that you were baller as fuck. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize Endless Nameless could do that. I thought it would just do what the um, Vert pill does and just produce a regular pill. But let's go in here, do our boss fight. We no longer have Golden Bombs, apparently. I don't know how we managed to undo that. Unless we do and it's just visually bugged. I'm just going to use our tears anyways. Okay, we do have I'm Excited active right now, which is annoying for the eyes, but otherwise should be fine. Okay, we're good. We've got ourselves a spoon, which I'm going to leave there for right now. Check in here. I think that's worth taking. I think we want to bomb you. Yeah, we, don't, we no longer have golden bombs. I'm not really sure how that happened. This is going to be a slightly slow fight here, but it's not crazy. I feel like the golden pills are going to be the death of us, but I, I feel like I also have to take them. As long as they don't like ruin my tier rate or anything, I'm going to be happy enough. And then, yeah, I think we pair throw and we get jar. Um, then we're going to pair throw again. Seven seals is really good. And then, I guess, just blank room. We got another blank room. Cool. 
Okay, I think this is a good run. We'll take that. Seven Seals is my jam. I really like Seven Seals. And let's go back to our insane golden pill room. And see what we can get out of it. I reckon we're going to end up telepilsing out of the floor somehow. There's so many. We could spend a while in this room, couldn't we? Goddamn telepills. Oh my god. <laughs> um... Have we found all the effects on these pills yet, or not? It feels like we found all the effects and Tears Up and Down isn't there. Oh no, we lost one of our golden pills. What are we gonna do? We got off quite a few one makes you larges, which I'm not so happy about. I'm just going full on crazy mode now. Why the hell not? We've reached a size that I'm not particularly happy with. Oh my god, okay. It finally happened. We got telepills. I mean, technically we could get back with another telepills. Ow, half got me. We keep getting speed downs. What makes you larger? <laughs> this is stupid, what am I doing? How have I never had this synergy before? This is fucking hilarious. Okay, let's go before I destroy this run. <laughs> I, have, I have reached um, a size that I am not particularly happy with. It is a little bit impossible to see what's going on. We did get a lot of status out of that though. Mainly a lot of speed and then a lot of speed down to basically neutralize everything we did. But tears. We got a lot of tears. And we also, like, made sure we're at max HP, too. I also kept one of the golden pills, because why not? I think the beast is going to be a little tricky for us with this amount of size. Basically, my only hope now is to get the item that makes you tiny from a planetarium. Or a, blo or a broken planetarium, I guess. But this has been interesting nonetheless, I suppose. The gars. The gars. We got another one back. I'm not. I may, maybe I shouldn't take the golden pill. It's too. It's too. It's too tempting to me. I'm already so large. I. I can't believe I did not know how insane that endless nameless synergy was. That's. That's obscene. Why did I go in here? Do you know what? It worked out. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Nice. Damn it. No more pills, game. I went from like, I will not take pills in this run. They're too risky to let me just take 40,000 pills and never stop until I get an error room. It was a little bit of a shame that error room was just full of pills. It would have been quite good to get a good error room there. But hey, her. That's sometimes the way the cookie crumbles. Now we just have to deal with our large lad. Um, that seems like a fun trinket to grab, yeah. Increase the chance of tainted treasure rooms. We would need more keys to actually access those, but still. Right, let's go find that item room real quick. I, I do regret losing as much speed as we did, I have to say. 
We were once the fastest boy in the West. Farting, baby. I think I'm gonna say no to you. Damn. Game really, uh, really has it out for me right now, doesn't it? I don't really know what, what card I'd be looking for with um with this guy. With my uh my blank card, I really don't know. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. We are so large. Cause now I'm so large. I mean our damage is pretty good too. We did get a devil deal here, I feel like we can at least check this now. And we didn't really get anything I want. I'm just going to say no to that. Um, yeah, we keep going down. Hope for some tainted treasure rooms, I guess. If we get enough keys to um, to fund them. Because right now we do not have enough keys to fund them. We need two keys and we have zero keys. In fact, we only need four keys this floor. So we're going to go to the shop as well. We got Stompy this room for some reason. Don't know where that came from. At this point, I'm quite confused. We also got a good bit of luck as well. I didn't really, I didn't really mention the fact that our luck is looking pretty good. <laughs> hey, that's nice. Oh, I think I think we just got Stompy from um, the size up pills, you know. I always forget that that has a chance to do that. So far, though, our size hasn't really been that much of an issue. I thought it was going to be a real problem. And so far, it's caused us not too many problems. I'm sure it'll still come to cause us problems in the future, but right now it's fine. Jumper cables isn't really that useful for us right now, but I feel like if we get a good card, it could be. Especially in the beast fight itself. I think we should take that. Did that make us larger? That was probably a bad idea, wasn't it? I think that did make us larger. Whoops. What are you gonna do? I'm just a big boy. I'm just a big boy. Oh my god. You see, size don't matter. I'm making these dodges and no one can stop me. I'm making these dodges. Come on, where's our tainted treasure room? I want to see what wacky stuff this... Oh, I had literally no idea that that cross shooter was in the middle of that room. Literally no idea whatsoever. <laughs> no inclination in any way, shape or form that that was there. <laughs> I can't believe I took fat odd mushroom. I was like, is this a size up? Nah, surely not. <laughs> Proceeds to be size up. I really need a planetarium with that item that makes us tiny. It's my only out at this point. Also, I got the butter bean effect upon being hit there. Don't know where that came from. Soul heart there. That's for a key though. We don't really need that right now. Ooh, extra bomb, why not? Few extra rooms around here. Slightly risky ones with all the uh, spikes about, but it's okay. Another key there. Slightly annoying room. Yera to do with what we please, I guess. I don't really know what we're going to do with that, but we'll find out. Do you see the dodges? Damn it. Do you see my dodging power? My prowess? Even at this size, I cannot be stopped. I have become Godzilla. Come on, Kringa. Finger Kringa. Off we go. Ooh, another key. Thank you. Right. Let's get the hell out of here. We have become a planet-sized man. 
all hail the giant baby. All hail. For he is coming. He will destroy all that stands in his path. This looks like second secret room. It can't be because that's not enough space. Anyways, he is the largest lad the earth has ever seen. We need to remember to get our um, our thingy next floor. Uh, fool card. I'm not sure this run has what it takes to beat the beast, I'll be honest. It's, it's damage is like okay, but not like insane. I'm hoping we get a good blank card match. That's good. Damage up right there. That's, very, that's very nice. Let's just see if we can actually see the rock this time. Curse of Darkness doesn't help with that. Ooh, Justice is probably a good one to go for here. So I can do that. It is a 12 room charge, which is pretty pricey. But if we get enough keys or a golden key this floor, that could be pretty useful. And we do have um, the, the vault thing, um, jumper cables. I said nine volt, but that's not the right one. Da Damn, oh, we got another soul of the keeper. Holy. I'm going to take that because I think we need the speed. <laughs> We've lost a lot of speed. The world around the world around the world. We do have a dice room there that could re-roll us, but who'd want to re-roll this? Also, it wouldn't re-roll our height, so... Not all that useful. Thank you for that. Unless it rerolls height, don't at me. Here's our thingy. Cool card. Grab that for now. God, I've been hit a few times here. Case of Darkness is the worst right now. I can't see anything. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the hell's going on. Guppy's paw, I mean, doesn't do anything for us, I don't think. No. We'll take it. Let's just go do this now and then full card out. We can come back and do everything else later. Getting some good amount of keys here. Nice. Okay. Boss time. Got our full card at the ready. This is Red Mum, which is going to be slightly annoying with Curse of Darkness. Just make sure to be constantly moving when she makes her oof sound. Okay, she actually died really quick here. Then we can full card out here. Yeah, I'm I'm not super ready for this. I'll be honest, I'm not super ready, but we can we can take it as it is. Hierophon is good. Judgment isn't. That was some terrible payouts there, chest. That was offensive. Do you know what? I'm going to keep the Hierophon. Why not? Hierophon's pretty good for us. It's health. The golden chest could be good, but them requiring a key is problematic for us. Uh... Something dropped in that room as I left, so I want to go check out what that was. Oh, balls. I used my spacebar item while my card wasn't active. What's this? Creates a mamma mega explosion in the current room. That doesn't do anything for us, really. God damn it, these tears. Dude, stop hitting my bombs. And this is what I'm rewarded with. How fitting. I'm sad we didn't get a single tainted treasure room here. Not a single one. <laughs> this is all poppycock. Right. And of course I ended up picking up this room. This room's terrible. Damn, no tinted treasure room. 
That's upsetting. Right, do we have everything we need? I think we do. We have our hero font, we have this, we have our gigantic size. Let's just go. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we'll, we'll find out. We might as well pop this on the floor, just so we have hearts on the floor. So when we can get hit, we can go back and pick them up. The good thing is our damage is actually pretty good. Ooh, Sigil of Baphomet is 100% getting taken. I love Sigil of Baphomet. It's so good. I mean, everyone loves it. It's amazing. It is very, very helpful in basically every scenario. And our other trinket didn't give us anything. Look at that. Look at that. Just stay on top of them. Beautiful. Ride those boys until they're dead. So many larger rooms here. What is going on? Brainy boys. The brainy bunch. Let's keep pushing through. Uh, here's our boss room. We want to go to our shop first, really. Item room we can go to second. God damn. Okay, here it is. Please don't get hit on this room. There's no point. I mean, it doesn't matter if we get hit because we've got soul hearts. God damn it. I just didn't want to have to traipse back, and now I have to. Who are you, game? Oh, for... you got to be kidding me with these shops, man. BS. B to the S. Right. Away we go. I spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. Sigil saved me there twice. Oh my god, they're cross hatching between each other. Okay, good. Item room first. There you go. Ugh! Game! Come on now! Have some humility, please! This boy is trying. This darndest. Ooh, what card was that? Is that card better than the card I have right now? Probably not, but I should check it. Nope! <laughs> One whole minute of mum's foot. I do not think that's very good. Should probably bag a key as well, why not? Yeah, damage just it's it's decent, but it isn't that great. I feel like our beast fight is gonna be a long and arduous process. He's then disturbed just like his father. Don't say that about Paul Isaac. He's just dead in a chest. See if there's anything extra in these little rooms here. It's not looking likely, is it? Right, away we go. Most of these enemies are, are pretty easy for us, though. It's just the, the rooms that are going to have the tainted enemies or the bosses are going to be a little tricky. Otherwise, I think we're in the clear. Especially when our floors are that quick. Down to the caves. Basically, all we have to do is kill one enemy, and then Sigil basically carries us through the rest of the room. Okay, this is the one boy that I was uh, a little worried about. But I think an explosive shot from our uh, Seven Seals guy will help. Sadly, we didn't end up getting one, but it would have done. I promise. Would have helped. I don't really care about opening much chests, so if I'll open some golden ones if I see them, but otherwise, I think we're kind of in the clear. Gonna get hit here. Oh, we didn't. I just can't tell because of my mahoosive size. My ginormous size. 
stone chest I should probably open. Being realistic, I should probably open that. Ooh, we got a crawl space as well. Check it out. It's nothing. Good. Damn. Nothing worthwhile. Up we go again. Last two floors. Oh no. Three floors. Damn, this floor, that last floor went slow. Again, Sigil saved me there. You are insane. Okay. It's, it's, it's been quite easy for us so far here. This little track that we're on, we haven't even really been hit much. I don't, like I said, I don't know how it's going to go in total. Just because I feel like we are going to get hit at some point. Come on, seven seals. Hit him with the explosive. Do it. You know you want to. Didn't even need it. Again. Damn it. When there's only one enemy in a room, there's no invincibility for us to grab. And I get hit. Oh, Jesus. Right. Um, just going to quickly go back and grab this soul heart. Couple of quick runs today. We've got some extra different patches of colour in our... Um, in our walking little Aquarius puddles, but I don't know what they are. They don't seem to be doing much else. This is this room with all the explodey boys. Not too bad at all. Ah, these rooms are really easy with Sigil. Especially considering the invincibility timer stacks. That's what makes it so insane. The fact that it stacks is just crazy. That, that, that last floor was a piece of piss. Forgot for a second there I had Stompy. Whoopsie. Remember we've got the bed to sleep in, so any damage I take on this floor, as long as it's not more than three hits, is pretty much exactly fine. This guy could die if that would be a... If that would be something that he'd be concerned about at all. That'd be nice. Go, go, go. Kill you all. This has to be the right way. Feels like it is. There you go. Okay. So we sleep in the bed. Then we're good to go. <laughs> Our large, large self is going to fight the boy. I reckon Dogma is going to be where we have the most trouble. Our size feels like it's going to throw a lot of things off. Thank you for that troll bomb in there. Mother's perfume would be really nice from here. Damn it. Let me go ahead. Yeah, we just see what we can do, I guess. It's going to be slow going here, I think. Relatively. This attack. I'm sorry, but I don't know how I'm going to dodge this. <laughs> yeah, I managed to, but it was pure luck. The Godhead one's another one that I'm going to struggle with a little. Honestly, though, the TV is dying very fast. Like, very, very fast. Wow. Is that like Tech.5 that's doing that? What's contributing to that insane DPS we've got going on right now? It's pretty nutty. This attack is going to be a little dodgy just because there's some very fine dodges that I normally do. But for the most part, with a slowdown at the distance we're at, we should be okay. I normally just try to get a good distance away from him. We've already done half his health back. We must have just a lot more damage than I was expecting we had. Like a lot, lot more. Holy. Holy. Yeah, well, our damage is way higher than I was expecting it was. What the hell? At 6.55, I was not expecting to kill that guy that fast. Now, one thing we do have to slightly worry about is every time we use a space bar, the soul hearts are going to drop in weird ways. So it's not always going to be so easy for us to um, gather the health that we get. I love to slow down this guy. He just hasn't done anything yet. It's hilarious. He's almost halfway dead already. I'd like to get him out of this phase. This phase is the one that hits me the most out of this guy's attacks. There you go. Get him into this phase. He's a lot easier in this phase. Especially with the slowdown. 
I think, do, do we have Broken Murder on this run? I can't remember if that was this run or that, or last run. I'll be honest. Soul of Isaac. Thanks, I guess. That is a slight problem because we could accidentally pick up something we do not want. I think a, a good idea is to look at where the tech point five shots come out and use that as like a guideline for like where we are. God damn, look how long we've been invincible for the sigil because of all these flies. It's just literally permanent for this entire fight. I, I literally don't have to worry. Killing the flies so regularly that we can just focus on dealing damage to him. Thank you, flies, for making my life so much easier. I think Sigil of Baphomet was one of the first items I ever, like, utilized to kill the beast. Hello, sir. Would you like to perish a horrible death? I think we're just, like, enemies are so slowed down that it's, it's becoming quite easy to just get away with anything we like. Because they're just, like sitting there and taking it. Like, look how long it is between his two bomb attacks. He got one single bomb out before his next phase. Just a single bomb. I think it's also because I've been playing with the mod on my normal series that increases boss armor. So I'm just not used to how, like, little health some of these bosses have. I've been playing with them with boss armor for so long. Look how much damage you did just him entering the stage. This has been a bit of a cakewalk compared to what I was expecting. I mean, but granted, this guy has a little bit more health and he's taking quite a lot more shots. But that's because his scythes are eating up all my damage. Off he goes, slowly but surely. Oh, look at Baby Death attacking him. That's your dad. Don't be so... Don't be, that's probably, that's probably your granddad. Normal death, your dad. Don't be so negligent to him. You should be looking after him. We finally lost our holy mantle, but that's all she wrote for that guy. And in comes the beast himself. There you go. I love the way that we just like shoot directly at him when he's like the gravity just pulls all our tears towards him. Yeah, one problem here is I have almost no idea if I'm going to get hit by these stalagmites or not. Like, I'm trying my best. I honestly am. I tried to get my soul hearts there. I only managed to grab one of them. I don't know if you saw, but the other one just got ate straight into his mouth. I thought I could maybe pop them off before um, this phase started. Wasn't quite how that worked out. Honestly, the beast is proving to be a little, little tricky. I got both those soul hearts. I just used the Hierophant card there. I feel like that's a better option, to be honest. I don't think we're going to get hit enough times to warrant another use of our active. And I don't even think we can use our active. Oh, dude. I've been hit three times already, though. I just can't. I I'm so large. Um, what happened here? What's going on? I'm so confused. Whoa, what the fuck is this attack? Oh, my lord. What's going on? <laughs> Have I ever seen that attack before? I genuinely don't think so. I think I've seen this before, but the other one was news to me. Okay, let's be careful here, because he's doing some he's doing some wild child stuff right now, and I don't like it. H how was I meant to dodge that there? Come on now, dude. I'm so large. You expect too much of me. We should be entering his next phase any moment. Like, literally any moment. I'm surprised he hasn't ended there already. There you go. Right. I'm a little worried now. Because, like, I have to do some dodging, but uh, it's not so easy as this as this large lad. I realize my hitbox is exactly the same size, but the perception, the angle and everything of it all, it just... Like, I thought I was over that. Come on, beast boy. Take the L, please. It's taking way longer than I expected it to. The stalagmites are like eating a lot of my damage, I'm noticing. 
There you go. We did it. Took a while, but we got there. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. A very fun one. I'll see you guys in the next one.